Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a studio vlog. I'm bringing you along on two camping trips, showing you a little of uh, what I do when we are traveling and camping and how I do my painting and setup and some of the subjects that I'll paint. Come along with me to the Airstream and the great outdoors. And we're off. the last couple of days sketching out what I wanted to do and today I started painting. So I'm going to get back to it. I just wanted to stop and show you guys what I was doing and I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. We just got here today. We have been traveling like crazy, and so I have not been painting much. Today, I just pulled out things from our cabinets. We have a stocked fridge. We have a stocked pantry. I have all kinds of just random things in here. Brady's at a meeting right now. We um, are actually, we're at an Airstream only campground. We have an Airstream. I'll show you here what that looks like and what that is. We come up here all the time to camp and we just love it. So there's like committees and stuff and Grady's on a committee, a uh, couple committees, and he has a meeting. These meetings usually take a while, so I'm hoping to have a couple hours to just paint and relax and Cooper's under there taking a big old snoozer. Here's my view. And then Cooper's under the table here. Hey, Koopy. Taking a big nap. That's his favorite spot. It's nice and cool under there. So, brother, you're bothering me. I'm trying to nap here, Mom. But I've made a total hot mess of our um, camper table, and that was a load of fun. One of the reasons I'm not a plein air painter is because I really like I just want to be able to enjoy painting, see what I'm doing. I don't like the light changing and all that. But sometimes when I've painted outdoors and feel like I'm literally painting blind, um, the painting turns out better than if I could see it. So there's times that I bring the painting and I'm like, maybe I should paint blind more often. So today was a little like that. So I'm hoping it'll be one of those days like blind painting is really great for me. Which I'm not really sure what that says about me. I'm expecting Grady back any minute. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it's been gone for like two hours. Ooh, that was fun. I got to pay for two hours. I was hoping for just some quiet time. It's a rally up here at the Airstream campground. We're having an Airstream rally, so it will be a very busy weekend, very social, and if I want to paint... I, okay, you're probably thinking, hey, you're camping. Why are you not outside? I'm not outside because I can't get peace and quiet when I'm out there. People want to come over. People come over more than if I'm just like out at a public area where I don't know people because everybody here knows us. And so if they see me set up, especially with all this beautiful stuff, like out on a table and it looks official, they're going to come over and not be paint and talk, which I love them. But when I want to paint and really just like let my brain just focus on painting and have just a rest, it was just really nice to just it'd be quiet. Cooper was snoozing away. Grady's at a meeting. 
sometimes when he's here at the campground, you know, here at the camper, he's in and out, in and out, in and out. And this camper's a camper. So it moves. He slams the door when he's walking around. The whole camper's like moving and all my paints. And pff, it's just not ideal when he's in here. And sometimes I just sit there with my paintbrush I'm like this, like this, waiting for him to leave. And he will look at me like, why are you being so weird? And it's because I'm like, you're the fire and you're here shaking the whole building. Let me show you around, I guess. Let me show you what I did. All right, that's my painting, guys. Okay, see you guys later. Bye. I thought maybe I'd see a Cooper. Oh. Hey boy, do you want to get on camera? I'm going to set y'all on top of the trash can because it's right here since, you know, we're here in a camper. Everything's really close by. Camping just wears me out. Oh, you want to give the camera a kiss? Here's my setup right now. I've set up in a little bit of shade that I have left right here. Okay, let me show you what I found. Okay, just a few minutes ago. See this rock? I accidentally knocked that over. Let me get down here. I think this guy's ready to jump. Okay, can you see him? Let me zoom in. Ooh, he's a big one. So here's the setup I did. And I just grabbed things from the airstream again I picked some flowers from the weeds around me and I've got my paints my water everything I need right there this is what I have so far okay, since I only have one camera going it took me a while to get that set up here precariously um, on the bumper of the Airstream. Hey, go away! Go, go! Hey, oh, that got crazy. Okay, guys. Woo. I was sitting here eating breakfast and having some coffee. I look out the window and right down there, right by where, like the snake was coming at, at the Airstream. And there are places underneath this Airstream where that snake could get. If I wake up with that thing in bed with me, because it is ginormous, even though it's a non-poisonous poisonous snake, uh... That would not be good. Perry is still out there chasing it off, hurting it off. Perry has chased him from there all the way to way back there. So he's hurting him off. Good job, Perry. What do you think, Poopy? Poopy, what do you think? Is that exciting? Let me after that snake, Mom. So I do a doozy on him. Hopefully we won't see the guy again. See this stack of wood right there? It went into a really big hole. That's a pretty long snake. It was about five foot. It went down in the hole, turned around, made a U-Haul, U-Haul, U-turn, and came back out. So that may be his little house. And you know that big frog I found yesterday? He's probably wanting that. I should have fed that to him and maybe he would like sleep for the next few days over here. I don't know. Hey guys, I thought I would jump back on here. I have just a couple minutes and I'm about to start working on um, some cornbread. We're having a potluck tonight with our Airstream rally. And so I'm gonna start making that. I already made my fruit bowl for it. 
and um, Grady's off doing something, running an errand or social. Oh, no, no, I know what he was doing. Okay, this is funny. They were having a beard contest or something like that, and he went to that. He did not grow his beard out for it. He just is going to support the bearded man. I think there was only maybe one guy that I've seen so far that actually grew his beard out, so he's probably going to win. Anyways, I regress. I thought I would jump on here before I made my cornbread and show you guys where I got today with my sketch. So I didn't get to finish it. We had like an Airstream emergency, something with our water started overflowing. And anyways, Grady was at a meeting. I had to go send somebody to go get him. It was like minor emergency, but we got it taken care of. And tomorrow I will resume my sketch. I'll sit in the air conditioner, probably the hottest part of the day, and just paint a little, finish this off. Um, it was really fun sitting out there and um, just the birds chirping and it was quiet. So here is the sketch or, you know, like as far as I've got. So here is the sketchbook and this is where I got for today. So I still have the napkin, I have this plate and some oranges and this little olive bottle and just some little things to finish up. But um, and the flowers up here, but I'm happy with how it's Turn it out, off to make my cornbread. Yum. It's our last night here and we are walking down to some friends of ours. They've invited us over for dinner and they're going to treat us to dinner. They're cleaning out their fridge for the camping trip. We'll pack up early in the morning and head home. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It was fun bringing you guys along on our camping trips. Thanks so much for visiting. I appreciate you guys so much. It means the world to me that you would take the time to stop and watch this video. And uh, I just thank you. So see you next time. Bye.